In mathematics, any vector space V has a corresponding dual vector space or just dual space for short consisting of all linear functionals on V, together with the vector space structure of pointwise addition and scalar multiplication by constants. The dual space as defined above is defined for all vector spaces, and to avoid ambiguity may also be called the algebraic dual space. When defined for a topological vector space, there is a subspace of the dual space, corresponding to continuous linear functionals, called the continuous dual space. Dual vector spaces find application in many branches of mathematics that use vector spaces, such as in tensor analysis with finite-dimensional vector spaces. When applied to vector spaces of functions, which are typically infinite dimensional, dual spaces are used to describe measures, distributions, and Hilbert spaces. Consequently, the dual space is an important concept in functional analysis. Topic algebraic dual space Given any vector space V over a field F, the algebraic dual space V alternatively denoted by V display style V caret V or V display style V is defined as the set of all linear maps phi, VF linear functionals. Since linear maps are vector space homomorphisms, the dual space is also sometimes denoted by HOM v f. The dual space V itself becomes a vector space over F when equipped with an addition and scalar multiplication satisfying phi plus psi x equals phi x plus psi x a phi x equals a phi x display style begin aligned var phi plus psi x and equals var phi x plus psi x a var phi x and equals of left var phi x right end aligned for all phi and psi elements element of V, X element of V, and a element of F elements of the algebraic dual space V are sometimes called covectors or one forms. The pairing of a functional phi in the dual space V and an element X of V is sometimes denoted by a bracket, phi X equals X, phi or phi X equals phi X. This pairing defines a non-degenerate bilinear mapping, V times VF called the natural pairing. Finite dimensional case if V is finite dimensional, then V has the same dimension as V given a basis E1, and in V, it is possible to construct a specific basis in V, called the dual basis. This dual basis is a set E1 N of linear functionals on V, defined by the relation E I C 1 E 1 plus plus C N E N equals C I I equals one N Display style math BF E carrot I C carrot one math BF E underscore one plus C D O T S plus C carrot N math BF E underscore N equals C carrot I quad I equals one L dots N for any choice of coefficients ci element of f in particular, letting in turn each one of those coefficients be equal to 1 and the other coefficient 0, gives the system of equations e i e j equals delta j i 
Display style Math BF E carrot I Math BF E underscore J equals delta underscore J carrot I where delta J I display style delta underscore J carrot I is the Kronecker delta symbol. This property is referred to as biothogonality property. For example, if V is R2, let its basis be chosen as E1. Topic one half one half E two zero one. Note that the basis vectors are not orthogonal to each other. Then E1 and E2 are one forms, functions that map a vector to a scalar, such that E1 E1 topic one E1 E2 zero E2 E1 topic zero and E2 E2 1. Note, the superscript here is the index, not an exponent. We can express this system of equations using matrix notation as E11 E12 E21 E22 E11 E21 E12 E22 equals 1001. Display style begin B matrix E underscore eleven and E underscore twelve E underscore twenty one and E underscore twenty two end B matrix begin B matrix E carrot eleven and E carrot twenty one E carrot twelve and E carrot twenty two end B matrix equals begin B matrix one and zero zero and one end B matrix Solving this equation, we find the dual basis to be E1. Topic 2 0 E2. Minus 1 1. Recalling that E1 and E2 are functionals, we can rewrite them as E1 x y. Topic. 2x and e2 x y minus x plus y. In general, when v is R n, if e topic e1 n is a matrix whose columns are the basis vectors and e. E1 n is a matrix whose columns are the dual basis vectors, then E T E carrot equals I N Display style E carrot T hat E equals I underscore N wherein is an identity matrix of order N. The biothogonality property of these two basis sets allows us to represent any point x in V as x equals i x e i e i equals i x e I E I Display style Math BF x equals sum underscore I Langle Math BF x Math BF E carrot I Wrangle Math BF E underscore I equals sum underscore I Langle Math BF x Math BF E underscore I Wrangle Math BF E carrot I even when the basis vectors are not orthogonal to each other. In particular, if we interpret Rn as the space of columns of n real numbers, its dual space is typically written as the space of rows of n real numbers. 
Such a row acts on Rn as a linear functional by ordinary matrix multiplication. One way to see this is that a functional maps every n vector x into a real number y. Then, seeing this functional as a matrix M, and X, Y as a N times 1 matrix and a 1 times 1 matrix, trivially, a real number, respectively, if we have M X equals Y, then, by dimension reasons, M must be a 1 times N matrix, i.e., M must be a row vector. If V consists of the space of geometrical vectors in the plane, then the level curves of an element of V form a family of parallel lines in V, because the range is one-dimensional, so that every point in the range is a multiple of any one non-zero element. So an element of V can be intuitively thought of as a particular family of parallel lines covering the plane. To compute the value of a functional on a given vector, one needs only to determine which of the lines the vector lies on. Or, informally, one counts how many lines the vector crosses. More generally, if V is a vector space of any dimension, then the level sets of a linear functional in V are parallel hyperplanes in V, and the action of a linear functional on a vector can be visualized in terms of these hyperplanes. Topic: Infinite dimensional case. If V is not finite dimensional but has a basis E alpha indexed by an infinite set A, then the same construction as in the finite dimensional case yields linearly independent elements E alpha, alpha element of A, of the dual space, but they will not form a basis. Consider, for instance, the space R infinity, whose elements are those sequences of real numbers that contain only finitely many non-zero entries, which has a basis indexed by the natural numbers n. For I element of n, A is the sequence consisting of all zeros except in the ith position, which is 1. The dual space of R infinity is isomorphic to Rn, the space of all sequences of real numbers, such a sequence, and is applied to an element xn of R infinity to give the number n a n x n. Display style sum underscore n a underscore n x underscore n which is a finite sum because there are only finitely many non-zero xn. The dimension of R infinity is countably infinite, whereas Rn does not have a countable basis. This observation generalizes to any infinite dimensional vector space V over any field F, a choice of basis E alpha, alpha element of A identifies V with the space F A zero of functions F A F such that F alpha equals F alpha is non-zero for only finitely many alpha element of A, where such a function F is identified with the vector alpha element of a f alpha e alpha display style sum underscore alpha in a f underscore alpha math b f e underscore alpha in V, the sum is finite by the assumption on F, and any V element of V may be written in this way by the definition of the basis. The dual space of V may then be identified with the space F A of all functions from A to F. A linear functional T on V is uniquely determined by the values Ta. Topic T e alpha. It takes on the basis of V and any function theta A F with theta alpha. Ta defines a linear functional T on V by T alpha element of A F alpha E alpha 
equals alpha element of a f alpha t e alpha equals alpha element of a f alpha theta alpha Display style T left sum underscore alpha in A F underscore alpha Math B F E underscore alpha right equals sum underscore alpha in A F underscore alpha T E underscore alpha equals sum underscore alpha in A F underscore alpha theta underscore alpha Again the sum is finite because f alpha is non-zero for only finitely many alpha. Note that f a zero may be identified essentially by definition with the direct sum of infinitely many copies of f viewed as a one-dimensional vector space over itself, indexed by a, i.e. there are linear isomorphisms v f a zero alpha element of a f display style v com f carrot a underscore zero com big o plus underscore alpha in a f on the other hand, F A is, again by definition, the direct product of infinitely many copies of F indexed by A, and so the identification V alpha element of A F alpha element of A F alpha Element of A F F A display style v caret asterisk com left big O plus underscore alpha in A F right caret asterisk com prod underscore alpha in A F caret asterisk com prod underscore alpha in A F con F caret A is a special case of a general result relating direct sums of modules to direct products. Thus if the basis is infinite, then the algebraic dual space is always of larger dimension as a cardinal number than the original vector space. This is in contrast to the case of the continuous dual space, discussed below, which may be isomorphic to the original vector space even if the latter is infinite dimensional. <laughs> Bilinear products and dual spaces If V is finite dimensional, then V is isomorphic to V. But there is in general no natural isomorphism between these two spaces. Any bilinear form on V gives a mapping of V into its dual space via V V Display style V Mapsto Langle V C D O T Wrangle where the right-hand side is defined as the functional on V taking each W element of V to V, W. In other words, the bilinear form determines a linear mapping phi V V display style phi underscore langle c d o t c d o t wrangle V to V caret asterisk defined by Phi V W equals V W Display style left phi underscore Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle V W right equals Langle V W Wrangle if the bilinear form is nondegenerate, then this is an isomorphism onto a subspace of V. 
If V is finite dimensional, then this is an isomorphism onto all of V. Conversely, any isomorphism phi display style phi from V to a subspace of V resp all of V if V is finite dimensional defines a unique nondegenerate bilinear form. Phi display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle underscore phi on V by V W Phi equals Phi V W equals phi v w display style Langle v w wrangle underscore phi equals phi v w equals phi v w. Thus, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between isomorphisms of V to subspaces of resp, all of V, and nondegenerate bilinear forms on V. If the vector space V is over the complex field, then sometimes it is more natural to consider sesquilinear forms instead of bilinear forms. In that case, a given sesquilinear form determines an isomorphism of V with the complex conjugate of the dual space phi V V. Display style phi underscore Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle V to overline V carrot asterisk the conjugate space V can be identified with the set of all additive complex valued functionals F, V C such that F alpha V equals alpha F V Display style F alpha V equals overline alpha F V Topic: Injection into the double dual. There is a natural homomorphism psi. Display style psi from v. Display style v into the double dual v equals phi. V F Phi L I N E A R Display style V carrot asterisk asterisk equals Phi V carrot asterisk to F Phi Mathram linear defined by Psi V phi equals phi v display style psi v vafi equals vafi v for all v element of v phi element of v Display style V in V, Vafi in V carrot asterisk. In other words, if E V V V F Display style mathram E V underscore V V carrot asterisk to F is the evaluation map defined by Phi Phi V display style Vafi mapsto Vafi V then we define Psi V V display style Psi V to V carrot asterisk asterisk as the map V E V 
V Display style V mapsto mafram E V underscore V This map Psi Display style Psi is always injective, it is an isomorphism if and only if V display style V is finite dimensional. Indeed, the isomorphism of a finite dimensional vector space with its double dual is an archetypal example of a natural isomorphism. Note that infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces are not a counterexample to this, as they are isomorphic to their continuous duals, not to their algebraic duals. Topic: <laughs> Transpose of a linear map. If f v w is a linear map, then the transpose or dual f w v is defined by F phi equals phi F display style F caret asterisk phi equals phi circ F for every phi element of W. The resulting functional F phi in V is called the pullback of phi along F. The following identity holds for all phi element of W and V element of V F phi V equals phi F V Display style F carrot asterisk Vafi V equals Vafi F V where the bracket, on the left is the natural pairing of E with its dual space, and that on the right is the natural pairing of W with its dual. This identity characterizes the transpose, and is formally similar to the definition of the adjoint. The assignment FF produces an injective linear map between the space of linear operators from V to W and the space of linear operators from W to V. This homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if W is finite dimensional. If V topic W then the space of linear maps is actually an algebra under composition of maps, and the assignment is then an antihomomorphism of algebras, meaning that F G G F in the language of category theory, taking the dual of vector spaces and the transpose of linear maps is therefore a contravariant functor from the category of vector spaces over F to itself. Note that one can identify F with F using the natural injection into the double dual. If the linear map F is represented by the matrix or with respect to two bases of V and W, then F is represented by the transpose matrix at with respect to the dual bases of W and V, hence the name. Alternatively, as F is represented by acting on the left on column vectors, F is represented by the same matrix acting on the right on row vectors. These points of view are related by the canonical inner product on Rn, which identifies the space of column vectors with the dual space of row vectors. Topic: <laughs> Quotient spaces and annihilators. Let S be a subset of V. The annihilator of S in V, denoted here S0, is the collection of linear functionals F element of V such that F, S topic 0 for all S in S that is, S0 consists of all linear functionals F, V F such that the restriction to S vanishes, F, S. Zero within finite-dimensional vector spaces, the annihilator is dual to isomorphic to the orthogonal complement. The annihilator of a subset is itself a vector space. 
In particular, the annihilator of the zero vector is the whole dual space zero zero equals V Display style zero carrot zero equals V carrot asterisk and the annihilator of the whole space is just a zero covector V zero equals zero V Display style V carrot zero equals zero subset V carrot asterisk Furthermore, the assignment of an annihilator to a subset of V reverses inclusions, so that if S T V then zero T zero S zero V Display style zero subset T carrot zero subset S carrot zero subset V carrot asterisk Moreover, if A and B are two subsets of V, then A B zero a zero plus B zero display style A cap B carrot zero subset a carrot zero plus B carrot zero and equality holds provided V is finite dimensional. If AI is any family of subsets of V indexed by I belonging to some index set I, then I element of I A I zero equals I element of I A I zero Display style left big cup underscore I in I A underscore I right carrot zero equals big cup underscore I in I A underscore I carrot zero In particular if A and B are subspaces of V it follows that A plus B zero equals a zero B zero Display style A plus B carrot zero equals a carrot zero cap B carrot zero If V is finite dimensional and W is a vector subspace, then W O O equals W Display style W carrot O equals W After identifying W with its image in the second dual space under the double duality isomorphism V approximately equals V. Thus, in particular, forming the annihilator is a Galois connection on the lattice of subsets of a finite dimensional vector space. If W is a subspace of V then the quotient space V w is a vector space in its own right, and so has a dual. By the first isomorphism theorem, a functional f, v f factors through V w if and only if W is in the kernel of f. There is thus an isomorphism V W W zero Display style V W carrot asterisk Kong W carrot zero. As a particular consequence, if V is a direct sum of two subspaces A and B, then V is a direct sum of AO and BO. Topic Continuous dual space When dealing with topological vector spaces, one is typically only interested in the continuous linear functionals from the space into the base field f equals c 
Display style math bound F equals math bound C or R Display style math bound R. This gives rise to the notion of the continuous dual space or topological dual which is a linear subspace of the algebraic dual space v display style v caret asterisk denoted by v display style v for any finite dimensional norm vector space or topological vector space such as euclidean n space the continuous dual and the algebraic dual coincide this is however false for any infinite dimensional norm space, as shown by the example of discontinuous linear maps. Nevertheless, in the theory of topological vector spaces the terms «continuous dual space» and «topological dual space» are often replaced by «dual space» since there is no serious need to consider discontinuous maps in this field. For a topological vector space V display style V its continuous dual space or topological dual space or just dual space in the sense of the theory of topological vector spaces V display style V is defined as the space of all continuous linear functionals Phi V F display style var phi v to math bound F. There is a standard construction for introducing a topology on the continuous dual V display style V of a topological vector space V display style V. Fix a collection a display style math call a of bounded subsets of V display style V. Then one has the topology on V display style V of uniform convergence on sets from A. Display style mathcal A, or what is the same thing, the topology generated by seminorms of the form phi a equals sub x element of a phi x. Display style Vafi underscore A equals sub underscore X in A Vafi X where Phi Display style Vafi is a continuous linear functional on V Display style V and A Display style A Runs over the class a display style mathcal a. This means that a net of functionals phi i display style vafi underscore i tends to a functional phi display style vafi in v. Display style v if and only if a element of a phi i minus phi a equals sub x element of a phi I x minus phi x i infinity 
zero. Display style forula in mathcal a q quad vafi underscore i vafi underscore a equals sub underscore x in a vafi underscore i x vafi x underset i two inf t long right arrow zero. Usually, but not necessarily, the class a display style mathcal a is supposed to satisfy the following conditions each point x display style x of v display style v belongs to some set a element of a display style a in mathcal a x Element of V A Element of A X Element of A Display style foral x in V Q quad exists a in mathcal A Q quad x in A Each two sets A Element of a display style a in mathcal a and b element of a display style b in mathcal a are contained in some set c element of a display style c in mathcal a a B element of A C element of A A B C Display style foral A B in mathcal A Q quad exists C in mathcal A Q quad A cup B subset X C A display style mathcal A is closed under the operation of multiplication by scalars A element of A lambda element of F lambda A element of A display style foral A in mathcal A Q quad foral lambda in math bound F Q quad lambda C D O T in mathcal A, if these requirements are fulfilled, then the corresponding topology on V display style V is housed off, and the sets U A equals phi element of V phi A one a element of A display style U underscore A equals left vafi in V quad vafi underscore A form its local base. Here are the three most important special cases. The strong topology on V display style V is the topology of uniform convergence on bounded subsets in V display style V. So here A display style A can be chosen as the class of all bounded subsets in V display style V if V display style V is a normed vector space e.g. a Banach space or a Hilbert space then the strong topology on V display style V is normed in fact a Banach space if the field of scalars is complete with the norm Phi equals sub x one phi x display style vafi equals sub underscore x l e q one vafi x the stereotype topology on v display style v is the topology of uniform convergence on totally bounded sets in V display style V 
so here a display style mathcal a can be chosen as the class of all totally bounded subsets in b display style v a weak topology on v display style v is the topology of uniform convergence on finite subsets in v display style v so here a display style mathcal a can be chosen as the class of all finite subsets in v display style v each of these free choices of topology on v display style v leads to a variant of reflexivity property for topological vector spaces Topic examples Let 1 a p equals n equals 0 infinity a n p 1 p infinity Display style math bf a underscore p equals left sum underscore n equals zero carrot inf t a underscore n carrot p right carrot frac one p Define the number q by one p plus one q Topic one. Then the continuous dual of P is naturally identified with Q. Given an element phi element of P, the corresponding element of Q is the sequence phi n, where n denotes the sequence whose nth term is one and all others are zero. Conversely, given an element a, An element of Q, the corresponding continuous linear functional phi on P is defined by phi B equals N A N B N Display style phi math bf b equals sum underscore n a underscore n b underscore n for all b equals b n element of p. See Holder's inequality. In a similar manner, the continuous dual of one is naturally identified with infinity, the space of bounded sequences. Furthermore, the continuous duals of the Banach spaces C, consisting of all convergent sequences, with the supremum norm, and C0, the sequences converging to zero, are both naturally identified with 1. By the Riesz representation theorem, the continuous dual of a Hilbert space is again a Hilbert space which is anti-isomorphic to the original space. This gives rise to the bracket notation used by physicists in the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. By the Riesz Markov Kakutani representation theorem, the continuous dual of certain spaces of continuous functions can be described using measures. Transpose of a continuous linear map If T v w is a continuous linear map between two topological vector spaces, then the continuous transpose T w v is defined by the same formula as before. T phi equals phi T phi element of w. Display style t vafi equals vafi circ t quad vafi in W. The resulting functional t phi is in V. The assignment t t produces a linear map between the space of continuous linear maps from V to W and the space of linear maps from W to V. When t and u are composable continuous linear maps, then u T 
equals T U Display style U circ T equals T circ U when V and W are normed spaces, the norm of the transpose in L W V is equal to that of T in L V W. Several properties of transposition depend upon the Hahn-Banach theorem. For example, the bounded linear map T has dense range if and only if the transpose T is injective. When T is a compact linear map between two Banach spaces V and W, then the transpose T is compact. This can be proved using the arzal ascoli theorem. When V is a Hilbert space, there is an antilinear isomorphism IV from V onto its continuous dual V. For every bounded linear map T on V, the transpose and the adjoint operators are linked by I V T equals T I V display style I underscore V circ T carrot asterisk equals T circ I underscore V when T is a continuous linear map between two topological vector spaces V and W, then the transpose T is continuous when W and V are equipped with «compatible» topologies, for example when, for X topic B and X W both duals X have the strong topology beta X X of uniform convergence on bounded sets of X or both have the weak topology sigma X X of pointwise convergence on X the transpose T is continuous from beta W W to beta V V or from sigma W W to sigma V V Topic: Annihilators. Assume that W is a closed linear subspace of a normed space V, and consider the annihilator of W in V. W equals phi element of V W cur phi. Display style W carrot per equals Vafi in V W subset cur Vafi. Then the jewel of the quotient V W can be identified with W, and the jewel of W can be identified with the quotient V W. Indeed, let P denote the canonical surjection from V onto the quotient V W. Then the transpose P is an isometric isomorphism from V W into V with range equal to W. If J denotes the injection map from W into V, then the kernel of the transpose J is the annihilator of W. Cur J equals W display style cur j equals w caret perb, and it follows from the Hahn-Banach theorem that j induces an isometric isomorphism v w w topic further properties. If the dual of a normed space V is separable, then so is the space V itself. The converse is not true, for example the space 1 is separable, but its dual infinity is not. <laughs> Topologies on the dual The topology of V and the topology of real or complex numbers can be used to induce on V a dual space topology. Topic: <laughs> Double dual. 
In analogy with the case of the algebraic double dual, there is always a naturally defined continuous linear operator psi v v from a norm space v into its continuous double dual v, defined by psi x phi equals phi x x element of V phi element of V display style psi x phi equals phi x quad x in V phi in V as a consequence of the Hahn Banach theorem, this map is in fact an isometry, meaning ψ x equals x for all x in V normed spaces for which the map ψ is a bijection are called reflexive. When V is a topological vector space, one can still define ψ x by the same formula, for every x element of V, however several difficulties arise. First, when V is not locally convex, the continuous dual may be equal to zero and the map psi trivial. However, if V is Hausdorff and locally convex, the map psi is injective from V to the algebraic dual V of the continuous dual, again as a consequence of the Hahn Banach theorem. Second, even in the locally convex setting, several natural vector space topologies can be defined on the continuous dual V, so that the continuous double dual V is not uniquely defined as a set. Saying that ψ maps from V to V, or in other words, that ψ x is continuous on V for every x element of V, is a reasonable minimal requirement on the topology of V, namely that the evaluation mappings phi element of V phi x x element of V Display style Vafi in V Mapsto Vafi X quad X in V be continuous for the chosen topology on V. Further, there is still a choice of a topology on V, and continuity of psi depends upon this choice. As a consequence, defining reflexivity in this framework is more involved than in the norm case. Topic. See also Duality mathematics. Duality projective geometry. Pontiagon duality Reciprocal lattice, dual space basis, in crystallography Covariance and contravariance of vectors Dual norm Dual module equals equals notes